The two-faced IEM. What does that even mean? I don't know myself. Let's just play the intro. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. I'll be talking about the Kiwi Ears Forteza, which is a 2DD 1BA IEM coming in at 59 US dollars. So another budget option coming in between the Dolce and the Melody at the moment, but will it punch above its price point before we delve in deeper? I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Linsol once again for providing this unit in exchange for my honest feedback. However, all thoughts and opinions are my own. I appreciate the support and to all of you who have subscribed to the channel, I appreciate you as well. So before we talk about the design, let's quickly talk unbox. If you've been checking out any of my Kiwi Ears video, the unboxing scenes will seem very familiar because it's essentially the same as the quartet apart from the IEMs themselves. It comes with a case with some interchangeable ear tips, the cable which to be honest isn't the best but it does the job at this price point and that's pretty much it. For the design of the IEMs themselves, there's three different color variants but for my unit I've got the blue variant and the faceplate has this half and half glitter appearance with the blue and the green with the transparent blue shell and it actually looks a lot better than the photos. You can see see the drivers through the shell, I mean there's no hiding what you're going to get there. If you like your glitter, this IEM is perfect for you, yet it's rather subtle. It doesn't catch your eye but once you look at it, it holds your attention. There's also a pink and blue variant which I think would suit a lot of pink loving people. All in all, looking good especially coming in at this price point. For fit and comfort, if you've worn the Kiwi Ears Quartet before, it's pretty much the same experience. There's enough curves and contours, the shell is relatively compact with the amount of driver configuration. All in all, it fits very comfortably in my ears personally. Now let's talk about sound and the sound I'm describing is based on the Hi-Fi-Man EF400 and using the stock cable. Also trying something new in this aspect of my videos, let's bring up scale. So starting with the bass. If towards the right is all about skull crushing bass pound, I put it towards the right from the middle, there's punch and slam coming from the mid bass to accompany your tracks, keeps the track engaging, there's a bit of rumble coming in from the deep end, it's not soul sucking earth shattering rumble, so I'll put it right in the middle towards the right as well for sub bass which means it's present enough that it's audible and it helps with giving a bit of texture to the bass note. Though it does impact the other aspect of the frequency, let's explore. For mid range, the lower frequency does give the notes a bit of weight, the overall presentation sounds quite close to you, the vocals stay right at center and stands in front of the background music, however the separation of sounds isn't the best so I feel the distance between singer and the background music is not as well established which I'll elaborate more later. If you want your vocals to come through, the Forteza does that but the background music can sometimes be masked by the lower frequencies. For treble, there's a bit of bite from the female vocals which means for treble sensitive people, I put a caution tag as this may be a bit harsh or fatiguing if you're sensitive to this aspect of the sound. Putting it with the SpinFit CP145 on the hi Man 400 helps tame it a touch, but putting it on the Fio KA13 is sounded quite unnatural and really aggressive. It was sharp, thin and piercing. So I actually put it towards the right of the scale, but it's dependent on your sources and choices of ear tips. As from my experience, it does have some impact on this aspect of the sound presentation, but it's still on the sharper side. For technicalities, breaking it down to a few categories. For soundstage, it sounds a little narrow due to how closed in the sound is, and the detail retrieval is decent but nothing groundbreaking. I feel there's sufficient treble given to cut through all that bass, but it's still not enough to carry the details through. Imaging is also just decent, macro details are coming through, but the micro details is a little compromised due to the presence of bass. All in all, it's just fine, but anyone looking to have more details coming through their tracks might be a little disappointed. For power on my high Hi-Fi Mini EF400, I'm getting to about 10 to 11 o'clock on the dial on the 3.5mm termination. So to sum it all up, the Kiwi Ears for Teza, it definitely brings more treble from the Dolce, but I feel they've pushed it too far to the other side of the spectrum, and with that puts it right where it belongs, and for my own personal preference, I felt the quartet had a better presentation, although on the smoother side, I have yet to hear the melody so I can't comment much, and for me personally, the Kiwi Ears for Teza still doesn't take the spot away from my budget choices, so I'll leave it at that. However, these are all based on one man's experience and I'm curious to know yours. Do you have the Forteza and what are your experiences like? Comment below, let me know and with that all said, thank you once again to Linso for this opportunity and to all of you for watching. Until the next experience, take care and happy listening. <laughs>